What's going on everybody? We have a special video today. I actually did not even think that this was the video that I was gonna do today. I did plan a video out and this for sure was not the one. It actually took me by surprise. I opened the box thinking it was gonna be another shoe and then it ended up being the Innovate G Series, the F Lite G 290. So this is the video that we're gonna do today. We're gonna do an unboxing first impression video about this shoe. This is not gonna be a full performance review. So if you leave me a stupid comment about this being not a real review, then I will uh, be very upset about that. Anyways, unboxing this shoe, there's a lot of hype around it. It's the first training shoe to use graphene as its main build component, I guess. Beyond that, honestly, I have absolutely no clue what the specifications about this shoe are. Obviously, it's gonna be 290 grams, and that's specified by the number. I don't really have too much more information, so I'm gonna be pulling stuff off of my phone as we do this. But let's take a look at what's inside the box. It's a typical Innovate box, G but it has G-Series all over it, graphene grip. The world's toughest grip with graphene enhanced rubber. 50% stronger, 50% more elastic, 50% harder wearing scientifically proven G-Series Innovate. Let's see. There they are. Got a little bit of tissue paper, but there they are in the graphene flesh. The G series, the 290s. These are some pretty sick looking shoes. I ain't gonna lie. From pictures, I thought they were a little weird, but in real life, these are some sexy bastards. They've got the Rope Tech guard like every other Innovate shoe. There's some overlays here and there. It's this material right here, it has like a silky feel to it. It's smooth, it's buttery, adapter web like most of the other Innovate training shoes and that's kind of like this little mid part of the shoe that just kind of expands and contracts with your foot. There is this soft, not really mesh toe box. I don't know what this is made of. It feels not like felt. I couldn't even tell you. And then what graphene toe cap? That's got some like designs on it. A little bit of reinforcement here and there. The shoe kind of like almost looks robotic or mechanical in the way that the lines are. And then there's this pretty solid TPU heel counter. That's pretty much this whole area right here. It's got this little protrusion with the little Innovate man going. Oh, that's for handstand push-ups. It's got a little dude upside down. Let's see here, the outsole, fascia band, Metaflex grooves, typical Innovate tread pattern, kind of skeletal there. Uh, let's take a look at what the midsole is made out of. We do have the power heel which is supposed to be a denser midsole material at that part of the shoe and then it's supposed to soften up at the other part of the shoe. So we have a four millimeter drop, not a zero drop, four millimeters. So the insole, three millimeters. The lug depth, three millimeters for grip. The midsole is the Xtero Flow midsole. The heel is 11 millimeters. The forefoot is seven millimeters. And the shank dynamic fascia band does have a midfoot shank. Sole compound, the graphene grip. Oh, it does retail for $160. A lot of the sizes are selling out. So if you want it, jump on it right now. And of course the product weight. 290 grams. All right, um, let's see, a couple more tidbits here and there. The laces have the same kind of feeling that the toe box has. Let's scrunch it up. Flexible. Flexes in all sorts of different ways. So the tongue construction is like kind of like a booty. 
it is secured on the sides, it's stretchy. The inside ankle collar area has like a ton of like little pads, for like comfort, for fit, who knows. I don't know, let's put these on. I got a men's size 10. I was having issues with Innovate sizing. Every time I'd order a 10, they'd feel a little big, and then I ordered a nine and a half, and they were too small. So it was a little bit in between sizes. Oh, there's a heel lock, and that's what those little pads are for. I missed that. Okay, so this, initially, it, it feels much better than any of the other size 10 Innovates that I've ever put on before. It actually feels like a perfect fit this time around. It's not as wide as, say, the 235 series shoes. And it feels actually really good on the foot. It's like, it's like a sock almost. It feels really light too. And that's, I just came from the Minimus uh, 40s, which are, you know, really good shoes. They fit really, really well. But those are heavy in comparison to the G series shoe. The fit is really, really good on these shoes. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I start moving around, when my feet start swelling. The socks that I have on are not that thick and I have a pretty good fit this way. I don't think I could wear any socks that are any bigger or thicker than these. Uh, I'm gonna say that if you are in between sizes, I'm gonna say, your best bet is to go up half a size. They fit me like perfectly. I wear a size 10 in my Metcons, a size 10 in my Nanos. There's a little bit of space in the Nanos. And these fit, I wanna say, more similar to the Metcon 4 size 10. A little bit different than what you might expect from a typical Innovate shoe. I always thought the 10s ran a little bit big, like I said before. I am going to abuse the hell out of these shoes because that's just what we're gonna do and uh, the nice thing is that they are black they only come in this black and green colorway the 290s do come without the graphene as well so if you didn't want that for some reason you can opt for those they're a little bit cheaper and yeah you can get these at right now innovate.com I think is the only place that sells them they just released uh, to public, they're not pre-order anymore. You can just straight up buy them now, $160. Be on the lookout for the full review as soon as I possibly can. I know a lot of you guys want to hear about these shoes, so I might expedite it and might try to do as much as I can in a short period of time in these shoes. But if you guys have any questions until the full review drops, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.